Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, K15 aka Kinchima. Welcome to my video. As you can see, I've got Battlefield 2024 in front of me. This is a game we've all been looking forward to. Well, it's here, and we can talk about it. And boy, is there a lot to talk about. Where do we even start? Should we talk about the bugs? I know you guys saw the footage at the start, just a compilation of some of the bugs that I came across, but I'm sure there's a lot more in line for you to watch, and I'm pretty sure you've seen it. So I'm not going to dwell on that too much because it's a battlefield game. They always, they always come with bugs. And I'm pretty sure a bunch of these bugs are going to make their way into the main title. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I want to talk about how this game has changed. I don't know what's going on at DICE, but this is not the battlefield that I'm necessarily used to. It is and it isn't. See, let me give you guys some history. I started playing Battlefield when I was in high school. Battlefield 3, my first serious shooter. Of course, I played Call of Duty, dabbled with it in the past. Never really played online that much because I was always scared of online. So I would play co-op, zombies, specialists, all that sort of game modes that would keep me away from actual people. But then I dove into Battlefield 3 when I bought my first PC. Yep, that's right, Battlefield 3. I came into the game two years after it came out, so I'd never really encountered the serious bugs a lot of people experienced at the start. I had a polished game, and I totally enjoyed it. It was rough, seen as it was my first serious shooter, but I grew to love the game. I grew to love the atmosphere. The feeling of running across the field with tanks and everything just exploding around you, and jets just doing Mach 2 right next to you. It's beautiful. It's an amazing, it's an experience I love, and I genuinely mean this when I say that game changed my life. Not in a physical way, but in a sort of mental way. It made me appreciate shooters, and it left a mark on my life for sure. And Battlefield 4 dropped, and of course I hopped on that right away, and it was a terrible experience at the start. A lot of crashes, bugs, you know, frame rate issues, the usual things, but I loved it. I played that game and I loved it. I just love the fact that I would get downed and I could get revived by the meta class, specifically the meta class, and I would just hit that prompt button that says thank you. It wasn't much, but I'm pretty sure they appreciated it. I know I appreciated it whenever I revived anyone who was down, seeing as I love playing as the medic. And I always appreciated when they gave me the thank you prompt. It made me feel appreciated. It made me feel like a team. I just love the fact that I was playing as a random soldier just thrown into this world war. I'm fighting the Chinese, I'm fighting the Americans, I'm fighting the Russians. And everyone represented their countries just by the way they talk, the way they interact with each other, the way they looked. It was amazing. It was immersive. It made me love the game. Don't even get me started on just the gunplay. The feeling, the oomph, it was all there. I loved it. I could tell who was Russian. I could tell who was American. I could tell what faction was which. It was easy. All I had to do was just look at it. Man, just reminiscing is making me feel sad. But then I stopped playing Battlefield when they went back into the World War 1 and 2 era. I'm not interested in shooting muskets. Just not interested in that era of war. And I'm sure a lot of you enjoy that, and that's great. But it's not for me. So I moved over to Call of Duty. That's right, I bought Modern Warfare. And I totally enjoyed that game. That game is nuts. That's the first time that I've ever seen Activision go all out. And when they went all out, they went all out. The gun animation, the fact you can inspect the gun models by pressing a single button and just have the soldier move the weapon around inspecting it. That's hype. That's immersive. It was just, Modern Warfare is just a game that I think it's really hard to top. So when I heard about this game, Battlefield 2024, I thought this was it. This is perfect. Call of Duty is dropping another game called Vanguard. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I can get back into Battlefield. And it's a modern battlefield. They're going back to the modern age. Maybe a little bit more futuristic, but not futuristic enough to be unrealistic. I was hyped. I was excited. And now that I've got the beta in my hand, I'm, I've got to say, this is not it. 
this is not it at all this is not a battlefield i fell in love with there's so much they're copying from modern warfare and there's nothing wrong with copying a mechanic or two from a game but when you do copy it make it your own well guess what some of the things they do copy i do appreciate like the tactical sprint the maps are huge in this game i love the fact that i can sprint indefinitely faster by putting my gun up i do appreciate that one thing i also do appreciate is the fact that i can actually customize my guns on the fly there's an operator in here that has armor plates he puts the armors on exactly i don't even know if it's an operator or an actual gadget it's something they got from warzone uh eh, not too bothered by that but what does battlefield do that's new that's battlefield of course the tanks are here the helicopters are here overpowered as usual because dice cannot balance for shit they're all here strong as shit if you run up to a tank or run across a helicopter you're getting wrecked you're absolutely getting destroyed they're all here but the soldiers that make the game the random soldiers the nameless soldiers the dispensable soldiers that signify what truly war is a faceless nameless war where you're killing people you do not know they're all gone now they're replaced by unique specialist operators with names and cool gadgets because ea and dice like i said they want to sell you skins that's exactly why we have fucking forgive my french we have goddamn third person executions now why though why i don't want that that completely takes me out of the game it takes me out of my immersion like why oh man it really hurts it really really hurts but the gunplay itself is it's all right it's not the best i think i feel like three and four were better it probably takes him getting used to but yeah overall this beta is definitely not it but uh we'll see in the long run there are instances where the game just looks wow that's beautiful and that's amazing like right here I love this, but like I said, we'll see in the long run, I might buy the game, I might not, I was really hoping this game would quell the thirst that's in my soul, but the way things are going, I highly doubt it, and I don't want to cast judgment from a beta, but we've had, we've had a lot of history with betas, usually when games launch after betas, 8 out of 10, they look and play exactly like the beta. But, like I said, it's just a beta. I don't know how they're going to do this operator thing where we have the same goddamn operators running across the field. That's right, you could have, like, five people run in front of you, the enemy, and yourself, equipped with the same skin, the same operator, and very little to tell the difference apart. That's why sometimes I end up shooting at my teammate. Oh, shit, you're, you're, not, you're not the enemy. <laughs> my bad. But, yeah. They gotta fix that. They've gotta figure something out. I know you guys wanna sell us skins. That's great and all. But figure some way to make this better. Fix the ping system. Fix it. I don't know why I have to go through these long animations just to revive somebody. What's the point of being a medic if everybody can revive? I don't get it. That completely kills Battlefield. There's no teamwork anymore. And with, oh man, this hurts. It really does. Everything, everything is so goddamn simplified. Why did they remove the support abilities that were in the old games like Battlefield 4? What about Squad Leader? I, I feel like all the guns, they, they just feel the same. There is no oomph. Oh man. Just playing this game, I don't sense any teamwork at all. Because what's the point of teamwork if you're a specialist and you can do everything? You can pick ammo if you want to. You can pick, I don't know, you can be a sniper and a healer at the same time. Reviving takes so much time. I might as well ignore you and survive. Sorry, motherfucker, you're on your own. It's that bad. Man, I don't know. I'm an infantry type of dude. I never really cared about vehicles, so I couldn't tell you how the vehicles played. But uh, as an infantry, it's hard. It's hard as fuck dealing with those guns, getting shut up by helicopters that are overpowered as fuck, and they move like the Flash. But yeah, 
that's just me. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.